I I think I forgot how much I missed those guys. It's nice the prequel era gets some appreciation again. Yeah. Cause like I really like Anakin and Obi Wan, like in the Clone Wars especially, like they they have like such a good chemistry. All this magic is just like you can argue um, I'm about like the prequels themselves, like two and three. Abra More so two. But like with um like Clone Wars, you can you can definitely tell like they have a, 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 a like a friendship, and like it make it makes like Episode Three's ending like a lot more tragic. Oh. The CGI still looks great as usual. Like yeah, I mean Clone Wars already looked really good for its time. Yeah. Yeah, I think like the budget for each episode is like ridiculous. Like that go I <laughs> Like I forget I do forget how ambitious George Lucas was with certain projects. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah, because like a lot Clone Clone uh Clone Wars like a lot of its success has to do with like George Lucas, like um like say what you will about his like the prequels and all that, but um I, th I think like a lot of a lot of the episodes that are like uh, considered like um, fan favorites I, I guess for lack of a better term um, are uh, thanks to like George like just giving them ideas and stuff and uh, a lot a lot of the budget like came, uh, came from like his side really I think I don't know I've heard rumor that <laughs> The show is so expensive, and that's partially why some of the movie actors just didn't reprise. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Spyro, did you know I, happen to be I mean, this is all hearsay on my part. Magician. Yeah. My specialty is the uh, amazing extending bridge trick. I'd love to show you, but I need a small donation first for my expenses. You understand? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Very good. Uh, let's see. Hocus pocus, ziggledy zen, make this bridge get long again. Man. Uh. I don't know, like. I pretty much said all I needed, so, uh. I don't know. What, what do you. Uh, anything else you say about Clone Wars, just in general? We need to finish our marathon. We literally. Wait, what did we even. Where did we even stop? <laughs> August of last year. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, that, that just puts things into perspective, but like, do you remember the last episode? I don't think we got all that far, to be honest. Do you remember if we saw Cad Bane? No, we did not even get to the halfway point of season one. Oh, that's hilarious. Like, we got... I don't even think we finished the Malevolence arc. No, no, we definitely finished the Malevolence arc. I don't know, I feel like we jumped around because Jason really wanted to see a certain episode. Uh, the last... I'm trying to remember, like... I remember we saw that the one episode with the cl where the uh, clones, uh, um, have to, like... I think it was, like, called Rookies or something like that, where, like, they have to blow up some kind of base to, like, bring, like... Uh... I, I, bring in like the Republic and be like, "Hey, we're in trouble, boys," or whatever. <laughs> well, uh, I don't remember what. I, I, I seriously can't remember the last episode we saw, though. To be quite honest. We'll get to, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You can have this. I was going to use it in a trick, but my magic just keeps bouncing off. <sighs> so the eggs are magic proof, I guess. Got only against amateurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Uh, it's it's hard, cause like it's hard like trying to watch like Marvel shows at once uh, with like uh, with like friends. Um, cause like um, was it we also started? Or was it? There was another show we started. Um. Uh, T uh, TMNT 2012. We started that with Lewis, um, but we didn't really. We watched like three episodes, 
And then we haven't, like, continued that since. So, uh... And like, on top of that, like... We've been going through Love Live. <laughs> which makes things even more complicated. Thanks, Harry. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna say. I don't know, though. Like, what do you think we should... Should do though, like uh, just finish Love Live and then go back to one of those, sh those uh, like Clone Wars or TMNT. Because uh, both of those shows are like good five, six seasons long, so it's gonna take a while to get through them. Well, Clone Wars isn't even coming back until later next year, so we can probably hold off for a little longer. I mean. I mean, if she if she won, uh, cause, uh, we we can uh, just I can just like kind of mar marathon Clone Wars uh, with you, and like the times when Jason is around, we can um, have him join. But if it's just us two, then we can just what uh, have it just be the two of us, I guess. Cause it's like when it's like a long show like that. Uh, you can't really, like, afford to, like, keep waiting, <laughs> like, weeks or months on end. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I think, I think what we, uh, I think we should just finish Love Life first, first, first and foremost. Yep. Because, uh, you know, you, uh, you like knowing me so much. Please go away. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. I wonder if season 2 will make you change your feelings at all. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do those Are they reusing music from the one of the water levels? Yo, this is like... This is like Aquaria Towers, isn't it? I think, I mean, I'm wondering if it's another music glitch or if it's just a re rearranged an arranged track. I'm not sure, but it sounds... It sounds almost exactly like Aquaria Towers. Probably a, probably a, probably a music glitch. Maybe. Oh, excuse me. Fly like an eagle. Yeah, just to get that one key. Let's get to the chest. It's around right here. Must be quick so I can fly. No! <laughs> well, that is so. It just appeared. Hurry up. Oh, come on. Did it actually cancel it out? Oh, I think it ran out, actually. That's unfortunate. Right, I think I can reach this. Yay. Alright, we're gonna do an. This section before the Bentley one. Uh, now this is like sl Th this can actually be pretty tricky because there's no like guardrails or anything like that, and it's like a Mario 64 style slide. But Spyro's controls aren't the best for this. Oh so gosh, this is. Just the worst version of the, of the Mario slide. Pretty much. And it's very easy for Sparks to just miss a gem. I think he just did there. So you might have to go down here a couple times. Yeah, it just feels really awkward to control this. Have you played Mario 64 on your channel yet? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did Mario 64 like a year or so ago. Uh, hello. You wanna like you? What is going on here? Uh, you wanna pick? Okay, there we go. It's not usually that picky. This game is cursed. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've definitely messed gems though. Like, yeah, we're gonna have to go back. 
Ah, <sighs> but while we do this, uh, <laughs> how are your feelings towards being in Idle Hell? <laughs> it's hell, but with idols. <laughs> now tell us how you really felt. I just said. No. Well, what do you think about the show itself then? <laughs> it's all right. I feel like it's not like obviously it's not done yet, so I feel like I'm not getting the whole picture. Well, you, well, what do you think about season one? Is a better question. I thought they would actually go to love that. You know, I'm not gonna spoil it. I thought that they would. Um... Yeah, I can't really say it without spoiling it. <sighs> I just thought they would, um, spend less time at their school. Hmm. What the heck? Okay, that didn't oh. take as long as I thought it would, but, yeah. <laughs> Fire was sliding longer on that grass than I thought he would. Yeah. Uh... No, I think I think this is the Aquarius Towers movie music we just didn't notice because we were underwater the last time. Probably. Yeah, but, what um, were you saying? No, uh, Good evening, well, before we get, I, I get into the that, uh, this is the last... Is I think this is the last like Bentley section. And, um... I've heard that it's, quite uh, it's basically so a minigame, more or less. Like, there's an opening section mm. where like you just push some boxes to get some gems, but... Uh, besides that, it's like just a mini game where you uh, had to um, whack them all more or less, and it makes sense for Bentley to have a mini game like this. But uh, again, it's just a shame that we only get like two sections of just wait two sections of Bentley where you uh, uh, you have like an obstacle course more or less, and uh, yeah, untapped potential with this guy. I could have done a lot more of them, but oh no 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 no! I don't want to do that yet. I want to get the gems. Oh. Uh, let's uh, go down, uh, run down the characters though. Uh, w uh, what do you think of the cast? Barring one, they're all right. Hmm. Barring one, they're all right. <laughs> oh, you want to go into like any like specific details? Uh, let's see. The moles are still. I know Gun does her job as the main character. I can't stop my next performance mm. until they calm down. Are you sure you can't help? A light tap on the he feels kind of vanilla so until like the last few episodes, though. They're trying to burrow after them. Hmm. Katori kind of is in the background until like the second half of the show also. Second half of the first yeah, season, kind rather. Of. Like she's ostensibly the second or third main character, but yeah. she's kind of in the middle between Umi and Kanoka. Yeah. Like, it, it... Um, yeah, it, it's kind of like uh, hard, uh, hard to like uh, balance the um... The, uh, was it? Nine main characters? Yeah, the like, balance out nine main characters and make them have, like, all balanced screen time. I'm, yeah, I mean, doing a 13 episode season is borderline impossible. Yeah. Hey, like, cause, like, a, lot of, a lot of season two is, uh, from what I remember, it, it, from what I remember when I saw it, like, it's like, without going to, like, specific details, um, it's a lot more character focused, like, there's a lot more. Just character development and just like character character centric episodes in general. Um, like episode uh, season one. Uh, no! Oh, damn. that was really close. Well done. Uh, season one what is uh, more of like. Uh, uh, was it? How do I explain this? Uh, building the cast. Yeah, building the cast and like showing what the the. Show is, is like meant to be about and all that, and 
all that good stuff, and, um, you know. How many gems are we missing? Oh, yeah, we're still missing gems. Uh, Barney over there. Let's get the flight. I don't know, but, uh, you know. Oh, I think, I think it's like right up here, actually. Oh, wow. S sneaky buggers. I think that gem messed me up once. Yeah. My old playthrough. Yeah, expect that stuff from Insomniac. Ugh. That, sh that level didn't actually take too long. I don't know if we have time for another one, though, because it's getting, like, it's like 2 a.m. <laughs> Desert Ruins is definitely not going to be enough time. Not to be confused with the Desert Ruins and Sonic Lost World. Which is a good game, I don't care what people say. Uh, I, I, I think the levels remaining are just going to take too long. Uh, Alright, you can go to bed, Harry. <laughs> uh, I, I, I highly doubt we're going to, like... Uh, you, can maybe, you can probably do a speedway. Oh yeah, that's true! Well, where's the speedway at? That's the boss. Because <laughs> I know there's one more speedway in here. But where it is, is the question. It's not that, is it? No. No haunted towers, or whatever that haunted was. Haunted tomb. Haunted tomb, yeah. Yeah, you've gone to that level. And over there is Agent 9's lab. Uh, that's Desert Ruins. What about this? That's uh, just for an egg. I swear it... It feels like it just vanished. I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure there is supposed to be one last speedway. I think it's up here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we'll just do this and then wrap up. Ah, uh, but, um... Ah, hmm. uh, more sparks. <laughs> I don't know. You try doing the sparks voice. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna read that. It's pretty easy to tell what, like, what the, um, 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 not required, but like the optimal pathway is. Ah. Yeah, as the speed as speedways go, the, 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 this is like the the speedways themselves aren't that difficult in this game. Like when it when it comes to just doing the regular mission, um, the challenge general in this game in particular uh, more so comes from the um, the uh, races than the actual speedways themselves. Um, I, I'm actually gonna backpedal a statement I made uh, with the Hunter challenges, because um, I I honestly think those are uh, generally easier in this game as well. Um, like they're very forgiving, and you a lot of the a lot of them you really have to try to mess up. Um, but yeah, like the the general okay. Or you can just not recover. Yeah, the general challenge from the speedways in this game come from the races themselves, because especially later on, especially if you like been kept in hard mode, um, then it's gonna. Th this race in particular requires almost no room for error. Um, so like because of the like the scale scalable difficulty thing, like, if you stay in hard mode here, then uh, yeah, you just. Just make sure you go into all the blue star rings you can. Cut the cut corners when you when it's possible, and just you know, it's kind of it can it can be rough. 
Is this a Superman 64 level? <laughs> Full of Hunter? No, I meant in general, like, just took the fog. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I guess so. Me stopping probably, like, caused us to lose. Yeah, but, yeah, as far as speedways goes, nothing we haven't really seen before, so, you know. Just kind of going through the motions. Dang it. I hate how it takes, like, ten years for you to recover from that. Oh. I probably wouldn't have enough time anyway, so, whatever. Maybe just supercharged? Maybe. I, I've, tr I've tried- I, I've tried that before, but I can all- I always miss them. Yeah. I don't know, you got anything else to say about Love Leave? Um... It's alright, I... I felt more than I expected to. You felt more? Yes, I just felt more. Uh, like, how emotionally connected it, were you with the characters by, like, the end of it? Um... Well, I, I say end of it. End of season one. <laughs> I care. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's good enough, I suppose. I care about the Tory Spider being kind of a uh, blank slate. Yeah. I, mean, I, didn't, I apparently didn't. I apparently didn't care enough to notice that they all had different hair colors. Shit. Nice. Yeah, it's like, like uh, the mo I think the most important thing in any like. Really, anything is to make make it so you care about the characters, because uh, otherwise, if you like, if you don't care about uh, the characters or what's going on, there's like no point in watching it or watching the uh, sh the show or movie or whatever. Like, a, a game can kind of get away with it uh, to an extent. Like, if the game itself is fun to play, but the characters are un uninteresting, you can kind of get away with that, but, you know, if you, if you, if you have both, if you have, like, interesting characters and a fun game, then, you know, it makes it more engaging in the long run, I think. But, you know, still. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged, and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with him as long as I can make it through the rings. Remember, kids, if you go through smoke rings and inhale it, you'll go faster. <laughs> this is this one is like really weird. Yeah, kind of just. We got a nice little shot of Hunter's backside. Yeah. It, this really isn't a good camera angle, to be honest. Like, you don't have that much room to see the UFO guy, to be honest. Uh, and I don't know, th this is a weird minigame. You kind of just follow the guy. Hunter just has no. Someone had an obsession with sheep. Yeah. Yeah, now I think about it, Arthur, we didn't get much sheep as fodder in this game. No, we didn't. Well, one thing I will say, um, especially in 2 and 3, um, is that the fodder is more, is a, a bunch of different, like, creatures. Whereas, like, Spyro 1, uh... Aww. Wait, you actually have to always follow the rings? Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? Oh, yeah, okay, you, if you, if you miss a ring, you just fail completely, okay. Wow. Fly through my rings! Why do we have to fly through the rings anyway? Like, why can't we just tell the guy? I don't get it. But, uh... What was I saying? Uh... Uh, 
I feel like I was saying something before that uh, ended up happening. I don't know. What were we talking about? <laughs> Steve and, uh, um, and Love Live, there we are. Okay. Uh, oh, I and was... characters, you gotta care about characters, so... Yeah. I was gonna, the last thing I was gonna say about the sheep thing was, like, Spyro 1 also had, uh, like, fodder that wasn't sheep, but it was mostly sheep. But... Um... Yes! What was I gonna say? Um, the egg popped out just I mean, think of uh, Love Live, uh, like, it's very, like, music, music heavy as well, uh, but there, there are, there's, like, a ridiculous amount of music that's, like, not in the anime itself. I mean, I think we all know the show is probably made just to promote albums. Yeah. Like, to put it into perspective, um, the... Wait, uh, why'd you guys do the level? Oh, right, I forgot to do the race! <laughs> I thought it was Aspire 2 for some reason. Because that doesn't have a race. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Uh, I guess we got some, a bit more time to just talk. Because uh, I, I, I highly doubt we're going to remember this conversation next time. Uh, but, um... Yeah, to put it into perspective, um, the uh, amount of music that's not in the anime can probably be like put into the uh, like the two hundreds. Like that—that's how much music th there is, <laughs> and that—that—and that's going by just just uh, the Muse group itself, not not even the the Sunshine uh, group. So that just, like, you know, puts things into perspective there. Because I do like the the, mu the music they have in the, the anime itself is is uh, enjoyable. But, like, yeah, there, there's a lot out of stuff outside of it. Because, like, you can only do so much in, like, a 13-season anime. A 13-season, what am I saying? 13-episode season anime. I had, I had 13 seasons, good lord. Yeah, 13 seasons of all of the movie. Cause you, and you have every DVD. 13 seasons of nothing but Umi. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> Almost messed up. Uh, but, um... Uh, Hanio is like your favorite, right? I guess so. But she kind of just fell into the background at the end too. Mm. I mean, she did get a, a, quite a lot of focus during like the earlier parts of the season. So they, uh, like the focus kind of drifted a, 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 away from her uh, after that point. Like in comparison. Anyway. True, but then yeah, she kinda just like a lot of characters just kinda were there by the second half of the first season. I mean like yeah, I guess. But again, like it's like trying to balance like nine main characters is uh, not not easy. <laughs> Now, what do you, you think, like, the, the music and all that? That's fine, I can't remember most of the songs, aside from the opening and ending, but... <laughs> well, the ending is nice. Uh, the song they before... Oh, uh, okay, we lost. Dang it. Yeah, that's what I mean by being tight. You literally can't miss anything. But... Uh, the, the the song they performed before the the incident uh, uh that's like one of my highlights don't know if you remember that one like can you repeat that 
the the song they the song they bef the, they uh, perform before the incident happens, like near uh, the latter half, like that. That, that was actually that was actually pretty good, from what I can remember. Yeah. Uh, do you want to explain your your uh, love for Nozomi? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. This is like a new meme. But it's going to be a dead meme soon. Scrappy's going to like hunt me down. I already know what general area you live in. <laughs> Give me the friend code. Uh, I just no. What's gonna happen? Uh, you're gonna mail mail yourself to me, and I, on the box it's just gonna be like review of the nut job because why not? <laughs> and then you're just gonna jump out of the box. Kill me. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I, that goodness curse is gonna be on my gravestone. Uh if, if this is like a whole separate part, I'm just gonna name this like Scrappy Memes or something. <laughs> Why do you have to do this to me? <laughs> you know you love it. Nah. <laughs> uh. Uh. That is totally a sound effect of the time twister buttons. Oh, uh, what, the rings? Like when you get the power up. Oh. I mean, I think there's, yeah, the, no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go over there. <laughs> That's like when the portal opens. Kind of. Where is this other bird? Uh. What? I swear we've gone through like every ring. How do we lose that? Oh well. You know, what else can we say uh, about the show? Like a a anything else like that? Uh, that's on your mind. Uh, that you haven't said. <sighs> no? I don't know. Mm. Uh. Well, how much are you looking forward to season two? It depends on what they do. Yeah, that's fair enough. Do they leave the school finally? Well, they're still in high school. That's not going to change. But I mean, are they gonna like go to places where they're in school? Um, I mean, my me memory, okay, I don't know if I can win after that, uh, but, memory's a little vague in that department, but I'm pretty sure they go to some places. I can't remember what I found. We'll see. Is that your main concern right now? To a point. Did the zombie become less obnoxious in season two? <laughs> uh, well, she still sometimes uh, does uh, does her groping technique, but she becomes uh, there's a lot more. Uh, you learn a lot more about her, <laughs> and we'll s see how you feel then. But. <laughs> I, f I think you'll still be uncomfortable. 
anime, we anime fans put up with a lot of bullcrap. Hmm? We anime fans put up with a lot of bullcrap. Yeah. I mean, I kind of expect stuff like that at this point. Although, I will give you, like, credit in, in um, like, some credit here. Dang it, that's not the right bird I want to fart pass. Uh, um, I'm Ooh. definitely gonna lose. No, screw this. Uh, I'll, I'll give you some credit with this. Uh, when I told uh, the Love Life group I'm in <laughs> that uh, you were, like, freaked out about the nose of me thing, like, one of them was actually, like, actually agreed, <laughs> and it was just like, yeah, the whole, like, uh, gro uh, groping people's breasts thing is creepy. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. It is creepy. <laughs> uh. it's, a, it's supposed to be a wholesome show about little teenage girls trying to follow their dreams and... Just... Just... <laughs> it's just so out of place. Uh, I think that's what makes it funny, though. Yeah, uh, not funny to me. <laughs> different, the different styles of humor. I like how you can get to second place in the first uh, lap, but then it just takes a, like, it takes ages to get to first. Although this guy is like right, maybe I think it went into easy mode because we keep on failing. I'm just not a fan of heavily perverted characters in the anime. It's I mean, that's fair enough, but I think, like, Nozomi is, like, on the lower end of that spectrum. That is not an accomplishment, Harry. I mean, sure, but still. I still think, like... I still think Nozomi is a likable character. M like... Like, groping aside. Groping aside. That's, that's basically anime fans' mentality for everything. They... It's a good show! Aside from those three fan service scenes and that one groping scene and the one weird backstory. I mean, you kind trying of to expect... Date his dater brother. Yeah. You, you kind of expect that stuff from anime at this point. There's, you, it's very rare you're gonna find an anime that doesn't have at least one fan service -y scene. Like, you should expect better. Like, we deserve better. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of just along for the ride at this point. Because, like, like, it happens, like, it, it's basically the norm now, so you, you, I kind of just expect it to happen. That's some, that's some messed up crap, Harry. We're numb to this. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, man. Like, we're actually numb to this. Oh, that's funny. That's, that's tragic. Tragic story. I'm not cutting any of this out because this is this is all gold. God help us all. <laughs> it's, it's also less editing for future me, so yay. <laughs> Cause I'm a lazy sword. I can't imagine like what the what the voice actor was like doing in like the uh, recording booth or whatever. It's like, beep, beep, beep. oh man, must have been so I weird. Have imagine, I have to imagine just pull out kazoo and started playing it. That would actually be hilarious. That is my head cannon now. I, I can't do the Kazooie theme. <laughs> uh, but uh, since we're like at the end of this, uh, do you have any anything else to say uh, before we like just end this? Spyro smiles a lot in Reignited Trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he has more, uh, a bit more, I get spunk uh, in the cutscenes. Is that the right word to use? I don't know. Spunk, um, yeah, no, never mind. Hmm. Why are so many friggin' geckos? <laughs> Hi, They're man. all over the floor, man. It's gross. <laughs> oh, man. 
but yeah, that's all. It's that's all we have. Um, We're it? tired. Yeah, it's half two. <laughs> so uh, see you guys next time for probably the finale, uh, depending on how long it takes to get through all these levels. But yeah, just one. This last home world to go through. Uh, that um, secret, secret final level that I just jumped from somewhere up there, and then we'll end the game and the trilogy. So uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye. Good night, everyone. Knows me as Scrappy's wife. Okay, bye. <laughs>